somebody asked me, he said, well, how'd you become chairman? I said, well, I was the oldest. <laughs> but it's really great to be able to see all of you and to have a chance to really um, actually touch each other. Can I say that? <laughs> As I look around this room, like myself and many of you, like that table over there and that table over there, we've gone through a lot of celebrations, annual celebrations. Now, we've been waiting for one like this through the pandemic. And I don't know about you, but each celebration, I take something different from it. It's because of the culture, it's because of the people that are, that are here, and because celebration is not only about celebration of numbers, celebration of revenues, celebration of market share. It's about celebrating every single person that's a part of our company. And that's what we're gonna do today. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services recognizes those top performers in 2021 in a really special way. One of the first groups is called the Honor Society. This is called the Leading Edge Society. And when you think about, again, over 50,000 agents globally, you represent the top 12%. Today, we're going to recognize the President's Club, the top 7% in the network. And I have been reflecting a lot about how I got here, how I got to be a real estate agent. Because even in my 20s, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. And I just blindly stepped into real estate. I had no idea what it was all about. I had no connection to it whatsoever. And you know what? It was the best thing I've ever done. And I know that I am exactly where I am meant to be and doing exactly what I am meant to be doing. So thank you so much. Thank you, Berkshire Hathaway. You guys are amazing. I love this company. You've welcomed me with open arms. And I feel it. I feel the love. And I feel the support. And I'm so happy to have found real estate in Berkshire Hathaway. So. Mahalo. Reflecting on my journey with my dad building this team here at Berkshire Hathaway, that's really been the theme of it, is both of us just stepping out of our comfort zone and trying to be our best every day for our clients and just everyone around us and for ourselves too. And looking back, I'm just so grateful that we put ourselves out there and everything that we've built together and achieved. Um, I'm really proud of us. And it goes without saying that Berkshire Hathaway has been a phenomenal support system to us. I know I'm speaking for both of us when I say that we're so blessed to be here with all of you. This year, the Ho'olu Award goes to Joey Foden. <laughs> I'm really proud this year to be able to um, announce the Luna Iluna recipient, Caroline Ferringer. <laughs> Our next award um, is AO, which is Teat to Teach. Recipient of the AO award has been doing and exemplifying that for literally decades. Um, but I will tell you, I learned today that she does march to a different drummer. <laughs> so, if, do we all know who it is now? <laughs> Could we ask KR to come up, please? All right, KR. This is Ka Malama. So, please help me recognize this year's Ka Malama recipient, Scott Larimer. Okay, this next one is another special award. It's Ikaika. It's strong and strength. And I'm really uh, pleased. We have actually two uh, recipients of the Ikaika Award this year. 
And the first one, I want to congratulate Etsuko Morita Fields. I take a um, special pleasure in naming this next recipient of the Kaika Award. Danny Stump is there for all of us. We have a new award. I'm really excited to announce this award and we're calling it the Ambassador Award. The first recipient of the Berkshire Hathaway Ambassador Award goes to Scott McGowan. I want you to look around and remember this moment and I hope the next time you hear Tycho drums, you're gonna remember this whole event. Give each other a round of applause. Every